G'day. I uh, recently ordered some uh, some better quality button dies than than the rubbish that I have already. Took five or six weeks for them to arrive here, ordered from AliExpress in China, but they finally showed up. But they're all different sizes, and uh, I think only maybe that one there will fit in the button holder I have. So I'll have to make some uh, new button die holders. I got a a 6, an 8 and a 10 which are about the three most common sizes I'll be, I think I'll be using. So we'll get on with that. Just a footnote, something that I've been worried about uh, with the radio playing in the background was that YouTube would nab me for copyright infringements and it finally happened when I uploaded a video the other day. They picked on 11 seconds of a Led Zeppelin song and took a huge amount of time for, uh, for their new beta Thing to erase the track off the video so you won't be hearing the radio in the background anymore okay so let's get on with this It's not very flat, is it? I uh, forgot to mention this is another one of those gate hinges that I made the live center for a little while back. Hmm, could be here all day doing this. Okay, we finished dressing the outside up a bit and uh, it's time now to drill it, bore it out to accept that, uh, that button die, that 10 millimeter one. So we'll get on with that. Sometimes I wish this uh, carriage had two speeds. So much nicer with this uh, tail stock now that I can move around easier with the with the latch that I put on it rather than have to undo a cap head all the time. Go right through with this hole. Change my mind because this hole needs to be pretty true. I will uh, drill this from both sides. I think. I just touch this drill up back in a second. All right, nice sharp drill. Let's do it. some of this damn swarf switch over to my biggest drill take some more meat out must invest in a bigger drill saves me a lot of save me a lot of boring time I'm getting some of that hunting that I was getting before with the with the old speed controller. I'm happy about that. So what do we need to bore it out to? 30 millimeters. 
Change boring bars. It's one that I haven't, it's a new one I haven't used much. I've been using this one for a while now. Does a pretty good job. Have a look where we're at. We're nowhere near it, I don't think. This looks about 20 mil to me. Not a bad guess. I'll bring you back when I get there. Well, I finally got there. That's uh, it's ended up just a little loose, but this is a bit hot at the moment, so uh, hopefully, once that cools down, it'll be a much better fit in there. So, now we can turn it around and uh, finish drilling that hole out after we uh, put a chamfer in here. One thing, uh, <laughs> I underestimated how much uh, meat I was going to have left in here to put screws in, but hopefully, it'll uh, that hold okay. This is a, a nice new Mitch Toyo that I picked up for, uh, for, for a pretty good price actually. A lot cheaper than you'd normally expect to pay for one.
his point too, radius tips don't like being jammed up in a corner like that. Do me. Ten mil drill back up through it again. I don't have any reams, so uh, I'll just have to turn up a shaft that fits the inside of this. Just add under ten millimeters, I would think. They seem to made up pretty well, those two holes, thankfully. <laughs> okay, quick chamfer uh, inside and out, and we're pretty much done. Okay, so uh, off camera I've drilled and tapped a couple of 5mm holes in that to hold all in place. So now I need to make a shaft for this to sit on. And I also need to, I still need to drill and tap a hole up in here. I'm thinking maybe uh, M8, something like that, to put a handle on it. So it'll be able to freewheel on the shaft that I'm going to machine up here. Just hold it with the handle and if uh, it gets to the end you just let it go, it'll freewheel. So let's get on with it. Okay, so uh, what I've got to do here is is drill and tap this half 20 to fit up here on the on the tailstock with the chuck screws on, like I've done with the other stuff. And I'm just going to put a small knurl on the outside, make it easier to screw on and off. Well, I've got to say, that was a little stupid of me. I forgot to uh, square up the tool post before I started that. So, let's try it again.
and the boom, eh? Even though I'm going to have to make three different uh, die holders, I want to use this on all three of them. And any other subsequent. Okay, it's time to drill and tap it. The six mil drill's getting the work out today. My 2964 drill's gone AWOL. Bear with me, I'll be back shortly. Alright, found it. <laughs> Not could be much left in that either. But, I wish I had a, a larger piece of uh, Last stock to work with, but I haven't, so this is going to be it. That might be enough thread, but I'll uh, stick a plug up in there just to make sure. It's quite a long thread on the uh, on the end of the arbor in the uh, stock. Hard to buy a decent tap hangers in this place. I'm going to have to make my own.
needs a bit of oil on it, I do believe. Don't do that, that's silly. Alright, let's see if we can't back this out of here. It's like I bought one, only much more better off. Okay, I don't really care if I mess this snurl up too much. It's only there to make a grip, make it be able to hang on to it a bit easier. Okay, where are we at? Gonna get down to 10, so another four and a bit. This spindle has a tapered roller bearing at this end and a ball bearing at that end, and I'm starting to wonder if this chattering is coming from that ball bearing, and I might replace it with a tapered bearing, I think. Turn that tip around. These cheap Chinese tips, they go blunt really quick. Yeah, start using things like this. Still turn a little bit of a taper. That'll do me. Body to spit the back up a bit. This uh, this tool would do a better job of that. Uh, that'll do that. I'll spend all day messing around with that. 
Okay. Paper on this. There we go, that's that. So all I need now is what's that in It's interesting. Not sure what that's hitting. Well it doesn't matter because uh, that's it. I'll put a bar in the side so you can hang on to it. And that's Bob's your uncle. Good old Uncle Bobby. Right, and there it is, spins, slides in and out, so uh, I'll make another two to fit the other two button dies and the riders rain, hopefully. Alright, uh, okay, so this video is getting way too long, so I've decided to uh, do a lot of this off camera. So I've made up a little handle, it's just a lot shorter than I would have liked, but I don't have the clearance in here to allow it to freewheel. So uh, it's what it is. I uh, could have made it maybe 10 mil longer, but that's it. That's what we got. So I've decided to chicken out a little bit and thread a piece of aluminium rather than tear this thing out of my hand first time up. Right, uh, so here goes nothing. Uh, power feed this, uh, well, let it feed itself under power, see what happens. Whee. And, oh yeah. I can't hold it, there you go. Let's try a bit of uh, lubricant on it. Back it off and try again. Well, there you go. Pretty decent looking thread. I think I might have some trouble uh, hanging on to that to thread steel though. So I might have to make a little something to put over the end of it, hang on to it. Trouble is it won't freewheel in and that's a problem. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to call that a win anyway. That's it for now. Well that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a comment down below, I'd, I'd like to hear what everyone has to say. If you got something from that, smash that like button and keep up to date with future releases. Press that subscribe button and to get notified, press that little ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling button. That one, yeah, that's it. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.